today and for supporting people with MS on this very important day. On their behalf, we are today expressing to all sides of politics what people with MS need. Whether it be the young women who are disproportionately affected by this disease, the Tasmanians who are also disproportionately targeted by MS, the 10 people who are newly diagnosed every week, the young people who are forced to enter residential aged care when it is not the appropriate place for them to live. Those who are still discriminated against in the workplace because of their MS. And young Australians who are in the global cohort of 2.3 million young adults with the most commonly acquired neurological disease. Or, importantly, the 7 million Australians who, like the Prime Minister, have a family member or friend living within this. What we are seeking today with the launch of these documents is bipartisan support for these needs to be met. And the message today is a very simple one. The time is right now, the place is right here for beating this disease. Advancing the interests of people with MS reflects, I think, the very best of our community because it it's a cause very close to our hearts, as you said. I'm one of those seven million Australians who have a family member who has suffered with MS. And I want to assure the MS community, which I'm a part, that we have no intention of taking our foot off the accelerator on aged care reforms in particular that relate to this, those who are suffering with MS, whether that be young people who, as you say, inappropriate living in residential aged care and ensuring that we can find better options for them. We're working full steam ahead on investing in a robust national clinical research agenda, as I know that Hunt will explain to you, as it provides our best opportunity to prevent, find better treatments and ideally cures for all chronic diseases, including in this. And we are looking to do more to support our researchers find better treatment with the goal of a cure. It has been a long time. I remember as a small boy sitting in the library of my primary school participating in the MS reading readathon. I had no idea what MS was. I, and I had no idea that over the course of my life our family would be touched by it in the way that we have. But here we are today, and as you say, here we are as leaders with the opportunity to take further decisions to address what has been an issue for at least a generation and more as we have dealt with it as a country and as local communities and as families. So, a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. And we have to get on with doing it. And you have my commitment to always be doing that. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. We look forward to continuing our quest to ensure that uh, with vested interest, I say this, um, that we get rid of MS in this country and assist the rest of the world to be the demarcation line for uh, hopefully, hopefully in our life, uh, saying we had MS and now we've stopped it, cured it, and isn't it just right? Like